Make Wiking, the author of The Little Book of Hugo, explains that you know Hugo when you feel it, but that sometimes the key ingredients are togetherness, relaxation, indulgence, presence, and comfort. The true essence of Hugo is the pursuit of everyday happiness, and it's basically like a hug, just without the physical touch. Coziness to me is just like that. While I love making our home feel this way throughout all the seasons, I especially value it during the fall and winter. And while I believe the Danish principle of Hugo encompasses much more than the tone of your home, I do believe it's a great place to start to help you find security and warmth in the monotony of life even during the bleakest of days. Despite living in so many different apartments over the years between New York City to moving to Dallas, something that I've always tried to maintain in our home is just a sense of coziness, of feeling warm and vibrant and just making this place a happy home. And over the course of having those apartments, I realized that there were a few just really simple ways to ensure that your home does feel cozy without spending a lot of money. Our home does not look like an interior designer designed every aspect of it perfectly, but for me, it feels like home and that's what's most important. And I would just encourage you to figure out you know, despite all these tips, what kind of coziness and that Hugo living means to you. My first tip is to utilize lamps. I'm a big fan of not turning on overhead lighting. This is something that just always makes me feel really peaceful, especially in the morning. I try to keep our lights off and just let the natural light stream in. We have one lamp in our living room that I like to turn on. It's also really warm and it just makes the place feel really cozy. And throughout the day, whenever I can turn off those overhead lights and just keep the natural light and keep the lamps on, I find that our place just feels a lot more me. Keeping blankets on the couch as opposed to being stored away. This is something that I like to do, especially when guests come over. There's something about just seeing a couch where you know that there are blankets on it as opposed to kind of having to ask, you know, where are the blankets? I'm kind of feeling chilly. It just feels cozy too. And I just started doing this recently. I used to think it kind of looked a little sloppy to keep blankets on the couch, but I've just realized that I like the look of it, especially with fall and winter switching out to a more seasonal blanket. It just helps keep our couch really warm and inviting, especially when people come over. Fluffing the couch regularly. So this is mainly because of Mr. Cash right here because he is on our bed, he is on our couch. And so our couch definitely looks more lived in. I personally like it. I think a couch is meant to be lived in, but I do like to go regularly and vacuum it and fluff it just to give it more of a cushiony look, if that's the right word for it. And I always find that it's a simple thing to do that also ensures that your place feels clean and welcoming. Playing cozy ambiance videos on YouTube. This is something that I just started doing because we were in Austin visiting some friends and our friend was talking about how he loves to put these on his TV when he's studying. And I realized when I got home, like, hey, I spend so much time here working from home. It would be nice just to play one of these. Essentially, you just search on YouTube and you can search cozy ambiance and whatever you want, a cityscape skyline, a coffee shop, a garden, they have all of them. And they're so beautiful to watch and great if you're just trying to not listen to a podcast or YouTube video, you kind of want to tune off, but it gives your place just a really cozy environment. Burning candles. I love candles and I know there's kind of mixed feelings about candles. I know I don't personally use the ones that are the most non-toxic or safe. And so I would like to ideally switch to more unscented candles that aren't going to put toxic things into our air. Something I love too when we first got married is just always eat at our dinner table. I grew up just always having dinners at the table and it's been nice, you know, whenever we can to sit down at the dinner table, light our candles, make it just kind of a dreamy, romantic look. And I'm all about romantic romanticizing small things. And so I think incorporating candles in your bathroom, maybe when guests come over too, it does make your place just feel so much more cozy. Incorporating string lights. So right now we're in an apartment. There aren't a ton of places where I feel like we could put these, but on our balcony, we have string lights and around seven o'clock when it starts to get darker, I always turn them on. I just love the look of having those on. It looks so beautiful as the sun is setting. And 
one day when we have a backyard, I would love to string string lights in our backyard and wherever we can. I mean, we're still finishing up the bedroom right now, but I feel like I would love to put them in here too. I just think that they look so beautiful, especially if you get those fairy lights. It definitely gives things just a really warm ambiance. Keeping fresh flowers. So I'm not saying you have to buy fresh flowers every single day by any means every single week, even if you just get dried flowers, something that I love to do is have dried florals in the fall time. I think that it looks just really beautiful for fall time, but every now and then I do think that adding fresh flowers just makes your home feel so much more homey. And I love to hit up Trader Joe's. It's my favorite to get flowers because I find they last really long. They're more affordable. You can make your own bouquet and it's just a simple pick me up that can maybe cost like $5. Keeping your space tidy. This is something that I always really like to do I don't do it perfectly. Our bedroom is kind of chaotic right now, but the point is it stresses me out. And so I can't wait until this place can be tidy. I really consider it such an honor to have a home to take care of. And so this is something that I don't really see as a chore. I don't love keeping it clean all the time, but for the most part, I really feel like it's me kind of thanking my home for being our home and just really making sure that it feels like a place where I can welcome people in. I find when our home is clean more often, I'm more likely to spontaneously have people over invite people over which is a beautiful thing not that you have to have a perfectly clean home to invite people over it's actually something I'm trying to get better at is not falling into that but I know I'm more likely to welcome people in when that is the case this is one of the only kind of purchasing things but I love the look of linen bedding there's something about it that it is just so dreamy I personally get hot when I sleep and so I also like that it's really breathable it washes well I find the more you wash it the softer it gets it just lasts a while I have a linen duvet cover from Amazon on my storefront that I really like it's a bit more affordable but of course you could go up away in price point and get a really really quality nice duvet cover we just have a duvet on our bed. Our sheets aren't actually linen. I'd love to have linen sheets too, but I really do love the feeling of our linen bedding. I feel like you spend so much time sleeping, so it's nice to have a bed that just feels cozy. And on the topic of bedding, something that I also really like is sleeping without a top sheet. I started doing this, I think, when we first got married, and I can't explain how comfortable it is. I wash our duvet cover every single week, so I don't feel like it gets gross or anything, but I just hated the feeling of top sheets, of getting tangled in the night. I always felt like I was too warm with them. Of course, if you live in a colder place, I'm in Texas, so it's not that big of a deal. You may need to keep your top sheet on, but there's something about just not having that top sheet that makes your bed feel so so cozy. Keeping your windows open. This is another thing. I love the feeling of opening our blinds in the morning. I don't always close them in the evening because we are in a high rise and there's not really a need to, but there's something about waking up and opening the blinds that's so refreshing and kind of solidifies the fact that it's the morning time, it's time to wake up. And I always have our windows open throughout the day. We never close them. I love to let the natural light in. It just really is a mood booster and does make your space feel a lot more warm because literally the sun is coming into your home. Not curating your bookshelves. So this is one I haven't really seen much anywhere. I love the look of a bookshelf that just looks used where it's books that you've actually read, not necessarily books that all have to look a certain way. It's mismatched, there's stuff everywhere. I just love the look of it. I think it's really beautiful. We have one bookshelf by our TV that I would say is a bit more curated, but it's still items that I have had for a while. I didn't go out and buy books for the sake of posing them a certain way, which is fine if that's your style too. I think this is all about finding what works for you. But I personally love the look of like a cozy bookshelf of just memories and books you've read where people could come over and see your bookshelf and say, oh, how did you like this book? Was it good? I think it looks nice. And I like that aspect of our home. Incorporating plants. If you've been here for a while on my channel, you know I love plants. We have a fiddle leaf a few plants that are up on our little shelf. We have our balcony planter, and there's just something about having plants everywhere that does make your home feel more alive. And it's also really great for your air quality too in your home. It does loads for your stress levels. We do live in a city, so it's nice having plants to keep our air fresh in our apartment. And I just love taking care of them. I'm not the best. I don't have the biggest green thumb in the world, but I do like it and I love that they added special dimension to our home. Reading books that feel like a warm hug. 
Reading is something that I go back and forth on. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't, but the feeling of reading specifically a novel, especially something that's like a coming of age novel, fantasy, or just something that you can get lost in, I find does wonders for your soul. And it's also just nice to enjoy within your home. Right now I'm reading A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. It's probably my favorite book. I love the way that Betty Smith writes. It's just such a great read and I love the coming of age story of it. And I think it's a really sweet read and it's really made me enjoy my home more just getting to read that in our house. There's just something about it that I think is really special, especially in those fall and winter months of cozying up with some coffee and reading a good book, especially one that does help you get lost. Adding eucalyptus to your shower. This is something that I love to do and you don't have to go out and buy new eucalyptus every week. I will say it's nice that first week, whenever you have a hot steamy shower, it really fumes up the shower and makes it smell so nice. But after that, it just dries out and looks really pretty. I haven't had any issues with mold or anything. And so I think that that's a nice way to kind of add a touch to your shower. We got ours from Trader Joe's and again, definitely more affordable. And I think it just kind of adds a romantic touch to your shower. Filling your home with happy memories. I feel like when I was more into say minimalism and kind of exploring that, realm of life. I really didn't love the idea of having photos everywhere. I liked kind of keeping those memories more digital, not portrayed everywhere. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, I like having photos everywhere. And so if that's something that you enjoy, I'd highly recommend doing that. I think it makes your space feel so cozy. I would love to put a gallery wall somewhere in our bedroom of like wedding photos of Aiden and I. Those are just happy memories that I think are nice to display and nice for other people to see too. And this is another kind of buying one, but I love lounging and just knit loungewear in the fall and winter is so nice. And I don't think you need to go out and spend a crazy amount of money at all but i will say that i love i just got this free people set and it is so comfortable it's going to be a staple in my wardrobe for years and years because it is just so nice to kind of throw that on in the evening times in the morning times and just stay really cozy in it i love it and i think incorporating just nice loungewear that is comfortable to wear that you feel cozy in is definitely a mood boost cooking with the seasons this is another thing that i love to do i think it helps you really savor especially fall and winter with cozy soups and chilies all those things i am honestly not a huge soup person i do love chili i find that soup sometimes just doesn't fill me up but one soup that i love is chicken tortilla soup always love making that i love romanticizing my dinners pouring myself some kombucha making it a whole thing is so nice and it's always something that i like to do more in the fall and winter learning to indulge at home this is something that i love to do i love taking just small things that might be ordinary or mundane and making them really special like taking baths in the winter time, reading a book on your couch, making yourself a special coffee, cooking. These are all things that I think you can really enjoy if you elevate them a little bit and really make them something to savor and appreciate and realize that you don't always have to be going out and doing something to be having fun, that you can also have fun within the confines of your home too. And lastly, it's just to prioritize warmer lighting. I can't believe I'm saying this because I feel like when I was younger, I used to love the look of less yellow tone lights i just never really liked like that look over there but now the older that i get the more i love the kind of harsh yellow light there's something about it where i just really love the way that it makes me feel especially winding down i know that that more warm toned yellow light is a lot better for getting better sleep and so i love having those in our bedroom i love having it out in our living room and especially when we have a house one day i'm definitely going to switch out all those light bulbs and have all the warm lighting and that's it that is everything i have to share let me know down below if you have any kind of simple changes you like to make to your home to make it feel more cozy. I would definitely be interested in hearing and thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm so excited to just keep sharing videos throughout these more warmer and cozier months and really thankful that I get to spend it all with you. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.